Hello, my name is Philip Scott and I have the pleasure of being the President of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries this year. Through this video I want to share with you what I'm aiming to achieve during my year as the President. I'd like to start off with a really big thank you uh, to two of my most recent predecessors. Uh, Jane and Ronnie have done a wonderful job in setting out the new strategy for our profession. A strategy which has not only been developed, has moved into implementation. And I want to make it very clear that I see my key task is helping to support the continuation of that strategy. But there is still a lot to do. If we look at education, um, in education we're proud of the gold standard uh, that we aim for around the world. But we need to make sure that that standard is appropriate um, for uh, today's uh, conditions and tomorrow's world. Lots of developments are going on. Um, we've made a lot of progress in, in things like the CRA uh, qualification, extending our ability in the uh, field of risk management. Um, we've also got some exciting developments like the analyst uh, qualification uh, coming along and you'll be hearing much more of that uh, in uh, the months ahead. As far as our members are concerned, we've been aiming in the strategy to up our game of how we work uh, with our members, how we communicate with our members, how we organise CPD uh, for our members. I'm keen to encourage that uh, CPD is about really interesting learning experiences and not uh, a tick box bureaucratic exercise. It really should be at the heart for all of us to want to develop our skills and that's really what CPD is all about. In the field of regulation we've done a lot um, to uh, develop the regulation of how our members do their activities. We work with external bodies like the FRC to ensure there is the right degree of independence in our internal regulation. But the world is changing. It's changing um, at the FRC. Uh, they have new people, they have new processes, they're seeking to raise standards, and we need to work with them uh, to uh, help uh, develop our own uh, regulation. But regulation really is changing the world over. Whether you're talking about prudential regulation, Solvency II, uh, BAL 3, Volcker, it's happening uh, all around the world and we need to respond. But some of the biggest change is happening in the regulation for consumers. Uh, in the UK we have the Financial Conduct Authority, in the US you have the uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and there are many others developing around the world. And how we develop with those consumer regulators as an ally and not an enemy is something which I think is going to challenge us. So a lot of good work in regulation but a lot uh, to do. If we look at thought leadership, I've always believed that at the heart of actuarial science is the real thought pieces that our predecessors have created. We need to encourage uh, that research, that thought leadership and uh, amongst other things I'm delighted that we now have the Actuarial Research Centre uh, sponsored by our, our Scottish constituency and that is I think just one of the great initiatives to make sure that we have the intellectual capital in our profession uh, in the years uh, to come. In the area of public affairs uh, we set ourselves a target of upping our game but upping the game is not just about having that uh, opinion that we can express. It is expressing those opinions clearly and communicating them clearly. I think we got some great examples um, over the recent time, but there's lots more to do to make sure that our, our voice is heard. And finally in the strategy, we set about to enhance our capabilities internationally. We have 24,000 members. 40% of our members are outside the UK. 50% of our members uh, who are students um, are also outside of the UK. And we need to engage with all of those members. We need to make sure that we're using modern communication technology to really uh, communicate effectively. And we need to engage with them to help them 
develop their actuarial skills, their actuarial contribution in their communities. Regulation is different in Hong Kong as it is in Beijing, uh, as it is in Mumbai. So we need from uh, our UK heart to be able to support our members in their education, in their profession, where, wherever they work. What I'd now like to do is to move on to what is my three personal themes uh, for my year as president. They are brand, their customer focus, and leadership. Starting with brand. Brand is something I have a real passion for. I think that there is um, so much that a good brand can communicate. If you think of the brands that you like, whether for me it's, it's, it's a BMW, it's Nike shoes, they mean so much more than a word. But you have to start with a name, a clear name that is agreed for the brand. And that's where we need to start in our profession. We have lots of names, uh, all developed in the past for very good reasons. But I believe that um, for today and tomorrow, there is only one clear name for our brand, and that is the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. And that is the one that we will be aiming to take from being a name which is clearly communicated, clearly presented, and then build it into a brand. What do I mean by building into a brand? Well, brands have essence. They have flavor, um, flavor that people can take out uh, from uh, that brand. We are a multinational, respected membership organization that educates, develops, and regulates actuaries. We're proud of the fact that our actuaries aim uh, to act uh, in uh, the public interest. Somewhere in that is the essence of what uh, our brand should be. We need to develop the words for that. We need to develop a set of values which we all agree that actually those words capture what we want to stand for uh, as a brand. When I talk about a brand, I'm not talking about something which is a sort of a high profile expenditure to communicate to the world. That's not the point. Really, we're talking about something much more like a corporate brand, a brand which can be understood by our key stakeholders. That's ourselves, that's our employers, that's our regulators, that's the media. Um, if you think about it, it's something like the intel inside. And if we can get to the point where the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries is regarded as having that intellectual capital um, to add value uh, to financial services, then that will be a great place to be. It will also enable us um, to actually be a truly international brand. Um, I'm fortunate I've spent a lot of time traveling the world and I've never ceased to be amazed how in say um, the provinces in China, the actual the heritage from a British based brand that's been around for 150 years is important to them today. So let's clarify our brand, let's communicate our brand, and let's get passionate about being a member. My second theme for the year is about customer focus. I'm not meaning the customer that you deal with when you're providing your professional services inside your organization uh, or even to another organization. What I'm talking about is the customer who's really at the end of the chain, the customer for the financial um, products which um, often we are providing for them. Because it's those people out there in the real world who are benefited from our experiences, perhaps suffering from, from our mistakes, but they are paying our bills. So when I look at the work we're doing in the profession, and that work is often within what we call the practice executive uh, committees, those are the ones where I want to encourage what work they are doing on behalf of consumers. But I want us to look out to the consumers of the future because that's what we're um, supporting um, today. So in pensions, what I want us to do is to try and help provide pensions that people want to save for. I want us to aim for life and protection products where there are guarantees the consumer's value. 
I want us to help support the motor, motor and home uh, business uh, in a way uh, that there are fair prices for consumers from companies which actually deliver um, great benefits, pay claims on time of the right value. So there will be a customer focus, but it, for me it will be really about that end customer because their needs and experiences are changing all the time. The distrust of financial services around the world has never been greater and we have consumer regulators which are going to be challenging what we all do for the benefit of those consumers. So finally, my third theme is leadership. I've often been asked why are there not enough actuaries at the top of um, organisations like insurance companies which there were in my day. Well, I don't have a simple answer for that, but I do believe that leadership skills are important and leadership is different to management. Many years ago I came across a definition um, that management is the science of drawing consensus. That leadership is the art of taking over when consensus breaks down. And for me that has always given me a clue as to why actuaries are good at some things and not. Because if you think about management as being scientific, about consensual, that's what we're very good at. That's what the left brain helps us to do. It's logical, it's rational, it's analytical, it's mathematical. It's all the things that we all loved at college and, and, and we've done in our careers. But the leadership part is much more creative than that. It's an art. It's the right brain that actually we need to use for that. And what I would want to do is to encourage people to think about their leadership skills. Now the good news here is I'm not uh, talking about uh, a new educational module. I don't think we need new uh, chunks of CPD in leadership skills. But what I do believe, if you look into the outside world, you can learn and develop your leadership skills. Look to nature, uh, look to organisations that are great uh, at marketing. Spend some time visiting the really end consumers of the products um, that uh, you help uh, create. In that way, you'll be able to develop your leadership skills and bring them back in uh, to uh, your actuarial uh, career. So, in drawing this uh, to a conclusion, uh, can I thank you uh, for watching. In my presidential year, um, which is probably coming towards the end of my actuarial career, I've got um, many more things I want to do um, outside of the actuarial world. But I want to emphasize that I had a very enjoyable career and I'm certainly going to have a lot of fun uh, during my year as president. I have one final wish for you. Can I say, wherever you are in your career, can I hope that you have as much fun as I've had in your career as a member of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. Thank you.